Inhuman Sadness, um, early 2014. We started over the holidays of uh, Christmas and New Year's of 2013, but for a long time I was in the studio just all by myself um, while everyone else was with their families and stuff over the holidays. I took one of the rooms of, of Goldman's uh, studio and I just um, I built this sort of makeshift uh, quickie uh, studio. Um, uh, so I locked myself in this little room, and for one week I just wrote all the songs. Once the recording process started, we would record all day. Um, Michael would be recording a song, having just heard it for the first time within within about an hour. I don't I don't know what I'm about to do. I wanted it to be like that because I, I didn't want to have time to overthink the songs. Are they too this way? Are they too that way? Um, I just wanted to record whatever was in my head at that moment and at that time. And I wanted the songs to have a real impulsiveness and a very, um, very spontaneous uh, sound to them. In theory, I'll solo like a bit, maybe the first guy, maybe the first two guys go. <laughs> third guy and then fourth do something else I don't know. All right, cool. Now we got the weirdness. Can we refer to all of it as the weirdness? Do get to get to get to get to get to get get to get get to get to get to get to get to get No, you're you're pushing that Let's try that in real life. Now do a fill in between all that too. <laughs> and at the end of the recording day, I would have to go back into my room and and continue writing to make sure that the song we always had songs to record the next day. Goldman and I would just spend hours trying things, and I know one song we we ended up actually just putting a microphone on the strings of the guitar. So it's an electric guitar, but we just mic the strings and uh, we would just distort that. We just wanted to see what it sounded like, but that's the take we ended up using. And uh, it had this sort of itchy, kind of uh, stressful feel to it, and it was great. That's really just right, though. 
That's that thing that, that yeah, yeah, dirty yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. Cool. It's yeah. long, but I like it. Cool. I know one song on the Marshall, we just had every single knob turned all the way up. <laughs> this, is, this is literally everything just all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could go this, but slide up to that. Right. Guitar bit, we, we didn't even have the guitar fully plugged in. It was uh, close, <laughs> but it was, there was no actual connection. So, yeah, this is not touching the amp, I mean, the input. <laughs> like, they're not even connected. I know we tried it later and it, it just didn't even work, so I'm glad we went ahead and hit record and, and got it on there because it makes it for such a weird, sort of stressful sound. Why is that working? <laughs> hours and hours listening to noise <laughs> most of it was just nonsense uh it, it was great i love that it's like the future and yet 80s Live. <laughs> you don't like space? <laughs> you know that's the sound of space? <laughs> You can't do better than that. <laughs> it's true. One, two,
that. Pseudo means everything's awesome.